Have you ever wanted to connect your guitar to your iPhone or your iPad to record your audio or just to jam along to your favorite songs? Well, it's simpler than you may think, but it does require a little bit of extra gear to get going. So in this video, I'm going to show you three different pieces of gear that can help you connect your guitar into your iPhone or your iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And we're looking at creating and recording today primarily with our electric guitar. So a lot of people have this question, which is I have my guitar. It has an output. You can plug a guitar cable out of it. How do I then get that into my iPhone or my iPad? So in this video, I'll show you a few options that we have. Now, it may be a little bit obvious, but why would you want to connect your guitar to your phone or to your iPad? Well, there's a whole range of really cool app. So GarageBand is the one that I use a lot. You can plug your guitar and you can use the amp simulators in GarageBand to record or even just to play and jam along. But there's a whole bunch of dedicated amp simulators on iOS. So we're talking Amplitude, Tonebridge, Bias. There's a whole heap of different apps that you can experiment and play with by just plugging your electric guitar directly in to your iPhone or your iPad. And what about acoustic guitar players? Well, you have the benefit of being able to use the onboard microphone on your iPad or your iPhone. And I did a whole video where I recorded a demo using my acoustic guitar with just the onboard speaker of my iPad. And it came out sounding pretty good. So I'll link to that one up the top there and down in the description and you can check that one out. Now, the first thing that a lot of people ask is, can I just take my guitar cable like this and get an adapter like this one, which is a quarter inch to eighth inch adapter or a 6.35 mil to uh, 3.5 mil and plug it directly on the end of one of these cables put this end into my phone or my iPad like that and then put the other end directly into my guitar the answer is yeah no sort of kind of not really uh, the reason it's not going to work is that the input here on your phone is what's called a TRRS which stands for tip ring ring sleeve which means that it has an extra connector on the actual plug which is for your headphones and your microphone. So you've got stereo headphones, you've got two channels of stereo headphones, and you've got one channel for your mic. So if you try to plug something directly in, it's gonna get confused. It's not gonna send your guitar signal to the right part of your phone or your iPad to actually record. Now there is a way around that, as I reach down here, is something like this, which is a TRRS adapter. So this has our thing here, and you can see there's the three rings around there, the, the two rings of the sleeve, as well as the tip. So this is the sort of adapter that we can use. Rode make one, Audio Technica make one. There's a bunch of different ones. I'll link those up there and well not up there. I'll link them down in the description uh, to where you can actually purchase these. But the reason I don't recommend this is that you're still not going to get great audio quality even doing this and you end up getting pretty clunky. You can see if you have to plug this into your mic, this into your phone, some headphones into here, it's getting a little bit, uh, it's getting a little bit out of control there. And because you're going through so many analog connections on the way in, you're not going to get great quality. So that is a solution, but it's not the solution that I'm going to recommend. In fact, if you are going to, if you want the most effective, affordable solution for connecting a guitar to a phone, what I do recommend is something like this. Now, this is a, it says it's an iRig, and I've reviewed this one in detail, which I will link up there and in the description. But this does exactly that. What this does is it takes the guitar cable at one end, so we can plug in like that. It takes a guitar cable in that end and it's actually got the right uh, quarter inch uh, mono cable adapter there. And then at the other end, it has a TRRS connection that can go directly into the three and a half mil jack of our phone or our uh, iPad. And it's also got built in stereo headphone connector here. So this does everything that we were trying to do in that last one, but it does it in a much more succinct and better quality way. Now these, you get all sorts of versions of them. They range anywhere from a couple of dollars up to maybe $20 and they're they're all over eBay and all over Amazon. And once again, I will link to where you can pick one up down below if you're interested. But this is where I would start. Now, the, the issue here, you're probably ahead of me on this, but the issue here is that we're only getting an analog signal and it's going in through our three and a half mil jack. Now, if you've got an iPhone 8 or an iPhone X, that's going to be no good to you anyway. If you've got an earlier model, you're going to be able to record, but the sound quality you get from something like this isn't amazing because it is using an analog connector. So there are other options that we can actually use. Now, I don't have one here, but the genuine iRigs, 
that actually use a lightning connector are a lot better quality. So the iRig HD is another version. And once again, I will link down below to where you can pick up uh, the iRig HD or other similar lightning connectors. And what they are is basically exactly this, but instead of plugging in via a three and a half mil jack, at the other end, they have a lightning adapter. So you can do everything the same. You can plug in your cable, you can plug in your headphones, and then you can connect this up to your lightning adapter. So they are a really good option if you want something with a better quality, but you still want something portable, go with something like the iRig HD. The next option I'm gonna talk about is to use a portable interface. And this is the one that I like and recommend. We're still using an analog connection here. So again, not gonna work with your iPhone 8s or your iPhone Xs, but this is the Tascam iXZ or iXZ if you prefer. And this is actually not only a guitar interface, but also a mic preamp as well. So if you're getting into recording in particular, if you don't wanna just jam on your guitar, but you wanna actually record in GarageBand or something like that, this is a great, thing to grab. These are only about $40 or $50, so you can they're quite affordable. And you have the benefit of not only being able to plug in your guitar, which is in there like that, and then that just connects straight over to your three and a half mil jack. So that works just like the iRig I just showed, but you can also flick it over to mic mode, which means you can plug any microphone and it's powered. So it's got phantom power. So you can even use a compressor, not a compressor, a condenser microphone on the iXZ and get a decent quality sound. Once again, you're back at our analog sound. So you're not gonna get amazing digital quality, but it is a way to connect up your guitar and get going with that. So the Tascam iXZ, good entry level interface, and you get that benefit of a mic preamp as well. So you can record some vocals along with your cool guitar. And the third and final option, and my recommendation, although it is gonna cost you a little bit more, is to use an audio interface, a USB audio interface like this one. This is the Steinberg UR12, which I'm a big fan of. I talk about it a lot here on the channel, and I've got a full review, which I will link up there and in the description as well. I'll also link to where you can pick up all of these products, but particularly these audio interfaces in the description as well. So the Steinberg UR12 has a mic preamp, but also has a quarter inch instrument connection. So if we've got a guitar or a piano or any other type of instrument that uses that connection, we can plug straight in. And the benefit of this is that it outputs via USB. Now you will need an additional bit of kit here. You'll need one of these, which is the lightning to USB adapter or camera kit. This is the USB three version, which has a lightning port that means you can charge your device while you're using it at the same time. And I have reviews of these linked up there and down there as well. So the benefit of this, as I mentioned, is it uses a USB USB connection. So the, uh, the analog to digital conversion is going on in here instead of in your phone because you're not using the three and a half mil jack. It also means it's compatible with your iPhone 8s and your iPhone Xs because you can plug it in via this sucker and you can be good to go. So you get better quality audio, you get a better user experience and you've got your headphones here for monitoring. You can dial up your headphones. You've got separate input gain. I talk a lot about these. So if you're looking to take the next step of quality, in your guitar recordings, moving away from the analog and into something digital, then an audio interface is a great way to go. And as I mentioned before, the iRig HD is similar to that. Again, you're using your lightning connector and there's other brands that make similar items. And I'll link to all of those in the description down below so that you can check out what your options are. So anything from a very simple option, like the iRig uh, clone that we have here through the iXZ all the way to a dedicated audio interface using our lightning to USB adapter. You can see that there's a lot of options that we can do and they don't have to cost us the earth to get our electric guitar into our iPhone or our iPad for recording. So thank you for watching. If you've got comments, questions or suggestions or your own tips and tricks or products that you love using to record your guitars, then you can drop those in the comments down below and I'll see you on the next video. I'm gonna go and play some guitar. Hey, thanks again for watching. As I mentioned, all of the products that I talk about in this video are linked in the description below. Now, all of those are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, you'll not only get some cool gear, but you'll be supporting the channel here as well. Thanks everyone for all of your support and I'll see you on the next video.